Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Ultimate General Civil War. With me, your host, Lego Marine. And it's on to the next fight. Thanks to all your responses on the Gettysburg uh, battle, the, the last one that we just did. It was uh, good to see. Lots of people, lots of comments from people who have never commented before on the channel. Um, love it. Anyway, Steve Jackson. 132 to 137,000. Now, a lot more people that we have uh, fought before, which is good because, to be honest, Gettysburg was a little bit of a damp squib. Um, had their units been around the 2,000 mark, that'd have been a challenge. But as it was, they were under strength. It was a bit too easy for my liking. I don't like easy games. I don't, yeah. Anyway, anyway, let's go. Let's have a go. Uh, we're going to use the third call. I've already sorted out uh, the majority of the cannons into there. <clears throat> but one unit of Calvin. Oh, wow. We, we can fit one more in there. Can we really? Okay, well, we'll go back to camp. As it's a defensive fight, we'll need everyone that we can take. Who do we bring along with us? Got decent weapons. I want at least Harper's Ferry. Nope. Anyone? Okay. Well, who's close to an extra pit? Or maybe a promotion. You're near a promotion. Can I get someone up to a level two? No. Okay, well, we'll go from closing. Putting him, putting him into the third core. That will be it. I think the colonels I've got here are all fairly close to a promotion, so that's why I've got colonels in here, and not brigadier generals. And I got another unit started of 24 pound howitzers. I should probably designate that so that we we know for reference on the battlefield. So one, two. Three, fourth unit of 24 pound ounces, and we already know how devastating they can be. In a defensive fight, they should be able to uh, rip them a new bum hole. Go! <clears throat> Siege of Jackson. Fortress City of Vicksburg has fallen to General Grant's army, and our western defences are progressively collapsing. I think a lot of these now will probably be defensive fights. Which is, yeah, after Gettysburg. Look at the Confederates fell back. So yeah, anyway, they're cool. In there, let's go. Man the treasure west of Jackson and stop Sherman's advance. Okay. So it's, it's a big hoop, as it was. Don't know if we're going to man it all. We might create our own defensive area. Although if we have the men, I don't see why not. I don't see why we can't. One, two, yeah, you three will be fine there. I'll split skirmishes off from all three of them and they can fill in the, in some gaps. I think the majority of the forces will come from this area and will get hit hard along here. I'm not going to push people out all the way onto this line. I'm going to use this line and maybe encompass a little bit of this as well. This is a killing field. This is a killing field. As is this. 
So, Law, Ransom, Hayes will have We'll chuck one unit of Napoleons down here. Summers and Zook. So one, two, three. Law can fit in here. Four. Summers around here. Ransom about here. Hayes. And Zook. Hayes, Zook. You in behind. And then Buckley at the very top. Denison around there. Actually, no, swap you out for Brooke. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll keep Brook in the middle. We'll keep him mobile. Price. Let's get rid of you. Let's bring in 24 pounders. Cook. Let's get rid of you. Again. Bring in 24 pounders. Do we have a larger unit? Oh, 24 pounders, we don't not. Just 10. 10 will do. I have more faith in 10 24 pounders than I do in 20 12 pounder bullions. One, two. Three, four. Check you in behind there. We'll put you down here somewhere. So our, our 24 pounders are going to be predominantly here. We're going to have to split skirmishes off from every single one of them and use those skirmishes to lightly man our rear end. Do we push all the way out? I think so. I think we take advantage of the fact that if we are on these defences then we can take advantage of them trying to get across this open ground and across the river as well. It'll stretch our line a bit thin but it'll be alright. Okay, so let's start that now. All skirmishes. I want anyone who tries attacking us from here to suffer a death from a thousand, th thousand stings. So tiny units, but hopefully they'll hit hard. Uh, Benjamin, just on that corner there. We'll bring Forno down right to this edge. Yeah. That's a get with the hill to you. Yeah, I'll be fine. Ransom. Sims and Law. Everyone has to contribute to the defense of our rear end. And again, no one's going on defensive positions just yet. More skirmishes. We can always bring skirmishes back um, if they're not needed. You move up, make sure we bring our cannons up as well. There's a gap here and here. We'll use 
use our cover here and we'll use our own skirmishes to fill in bits of this line. Plus the extra spotting range that they, they give us will be useful. And go on now, I think. I would like there to be a mechanic where you take your supply wagon, you put it near the supply depot, and you get resupplied, and then you could take that supply wagon around. But apparently, that's not a thing. Let's have a quick check of these defensive positions. Earthquake for earthwork fortifications. <clears throat> so not bad. 70% cover bonus. However, the woods that we're in. Yeah, cover over 160. We'll jump on if it descends into melee. Get melee bonus. Um, a little less melee resistance than I thought we would get, but still that melee bonus will help a lot. And we'll push these skirmishes onto the defensive positions just to uh, just to even them out a little bit. You off your horses. And push up to that point. Get you in these woods. Get you in these woods. Let's get you across. Yeah, let's let's open up a little bit of the map. cannons here are a bit exposed. I don't like this big gap here. Zook, let's push you up a little further. Take Simmons with you. Let's get Hayes into a little bit better cover. I think it's going to be about fine margins with this map. Gonna have to hold because you are protecting the cannons. And everyone within our little circle gets extra cover bonus. So we'll try and encompass as many people as we can. I think we're ready. <clears throat> they have found a weak point. Do we have a weak point? Oh, okay. This is our weak point. And the Yankees are coming. Oh, here somewhere. I can see it on the map. Haven't revealed themselves just yet. Here we go. Don't want you firing. And I don't want you firing just yet. Or you. I'll wait until they get into shell range. A thousand cavalry. Well, that's going to be interesting, isn't it? Just 
step off those fortifications. take advantage of this quick. Come on at least a volley. Ah. Right, back to position. More federales are approaching. Good. Okay, it's time. That shell fire. That is shell fire. And that shell fire. Surprise. How are we getting them? Yep, take them out if you can. On you. Over here. Oh wow, we've routed them. Yep. Try push this if you can. You've already been spotted, so the jig is up, as I say. You back into that cover. Get another round on. Uh, I'm concerned that these cav are going to just sweep through here once they get their shit together and blast us into a bit of oblivion. So, hey skirmishers, let's get you out of there, try to lure these cavalry into our own skirmishes. We'll get you off that defensive point because you're probably going to get targeted by artillery. You as well. All these are hidden. Who are you firing at? No, stop. That's not waste. Oh look, one kill. One kill and he's... Uh, he might have been firing at the cab before. I was going to say he's only firing at the... Uh, the general. Or is that a little pool <laughs> pool of uh, blood? It won't be. No. Anyway, how are we getting down here? So two kills. 38. 49. Let's give you on your horses. Let's try and interrupt Durell. Right, so we're out of sight there. No need to run any further then. Stand up. No one. Really? Actually, no, don't spook them just yet. We're all still hidden. Long Street, however. I want you running out. And Law, I want you running over here. Let's take advantage of these. They're going to route as soon as Zook and Trevi skirmishes get rounds into them. But if we can get shots on whilst they're, they're wallowing in the river with Long Street and laws. We should be able to pull this down to about 850. Moving up. Go back and hide. Again, go back and hide. Again, nobody's been seen here. No one's been spotted. I won't be surprised if these limber up again and head off. you all the way around the back. Okay, not all the way around the back. So, take one shot at Durell and then we're going to have to get ourselves away because we've already been spotted. Mm. 
take on them. Yeah, these are limited up again. Because they have no targets to fire at, they're going to move on until they they open up some more. Holy moly. Okay. It, yeah, it's probably time to... Ooh! My claws. Just in time. Let's get you down here. Let's get you running. I wondered why we didn't have all our cannons available. Crow Price, Shayla, and Stark. Let's just get you into the center. No, my claws. Down here. And I need you running. Yeah, you are. Good. Shots on target. Right, so we've interrupted them to a point. Fire! Hold you right to the edge of here. One shots on Griffin. In fact, let's keep. Beep. Routing. Few shots into the side of Manta. One tree. Let's pull you forward again. Shots into the side of Manta. Death by a thousand paper cuts. If he's receiving fire from this direction and this direction and from both flanks at the same time, we might be able to route him for just the cost of a hundred men um, and that's all we we just need to keep him at arm's length until McClaws comes down here you're still reloading. Really who do we use you on? we have to do something with the cannon Into the back of Manta. Get into the side. You're blocked, so I'll move out. Excellent. That is a cheap route. That is a, a mega cheap route. Totally forgotten what the hero at before, but we pricked them enough. They don't want to stay there. So let's get you back. Get you off that defensive position. Get you back into cover. So shots on Griffin. Griffiths. And let's let's pull you away. Okay. We'll not overextend with what we've got. We won't try to rush after them. It's still a big dangerous lump. We've just got to play smart. Alright, hit your L again. Who are you firing at? No one. But you are taking 24 pound of fire. So we're hidden, we're hidden, we're hidden, we're hidden, we're hidden, we're hidden, we're hidden. And then suddenly surprise and then move away. Good. Keep them on the toes. Looks like they've got the shit together. We have been hidden again in these little woods. They've limited up the artillery, so it looks like they can't see anyone. They're on the move. But this time got 2,500 
I'm in here with just the Enfield actually. Still, it's not bad. Let's get you facing just there. There is a corridor here. And I don't want them to get through. I want them to think that they can get through. I want them to try continually poking it. I don't want to give them. Uh, don't let them through into the interior. If we can help them. Four pounders are starting to rack up kills. Nothing's poked us here, so I might move. No, no, we'll we'll, we'll keep the, the twenty four pounders down here. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know how the alpha is going to develop. We may get pressured on the on the bottom. Fire. No, pull back then. You're into the side of Griffiths. We should turn this into a two on one. roundabout way of doing things but it just means we get effective fire on this guy a lot quicker someone's gonna plug the gap if needs to be we can shuffle Benjamin around um, yeah we'll be all right famous last words let's go hit these cannons again let's keep them turning let's keep them silent Just sit there. Now go. And away. That sounds like a charge. Wasn't. Now these guys are focusing on law, so we're out being in the up we're all right to being out in the open there. However, let's get you all the way around. Looks like uh, they've had enough of us poking the cannons. However, uh, he is under cannon fire, I believe. Let's try and take cannons once you've been reloaded. These these scouts are doing really well. 103 kills for just two losses. Not bad at all. Well skirmishers, let's get you down into these woods here, just in preparation for months of crossing these uh crossing this water. Oh what's your range? How much yours? Let's squid you both up a little bit. Reloaded. Excellent. Right back into at least some cover. Actually, I'll full, fully pull away. And that way, we'll be hidden. One would help. All right, we'll leave it in Lee on a merry dance. How ironic. Somewhat. If you find some, if you find that the enemy's focusing on somebody in cover, you can usually.
put people around. If, as long as you're not flanking them too much, you can usually put people around or move people out into the open next to the guy that's being focused down and be relatively safe. It's very rare that an enemy that's focusing on one unit will switch its focus to the better target. And I wish that they would. And you saw like little puffs of individual rifles going off. That's them down to less than 50% morale. As we as we uh, pointed out in the, the Gettysburg video. Anyway. Yeah, you're hidden now. Let's just stop you there. We don't need to run any further. Now this time, when Manta comes under attack, we might be able to pull McClaw right to the edge of these woods. And get effective fire actually cook. Let's bring it down here. I think this is a very isolated attack. I think it just consists of a few cannons, one unit, and a hell of a lot of holes. To that end, I've dragged the majority of our cannons into the center and we'll distribute them from there. Um, we'll just have one move into this corner. And these continue to chase, up, chase us. Wow, three units. In fact, go that way. Oh no, Lee has turned himself around. Okay, and now we're hidden. So we can do what we want. We'll cover you in, 100%. Move you a little further forward. So that you can get shots on. Again, these lot focused at Zook, so we can move them from many different directions and we'll wait till these cannons have moved out of cover before we hit them again we just we, with one unit of skirmishes we won't do enough damage to them quick enough to wrap them some skirmishes are you going to be able to get shots on from there Superb. We'll steal supplies and then we will uh, we'll try and chase down the illustrious leader. We'll get you into this cover. We'll put you in here as well. What did you end up with? 308 kills for the death of just 78 and. 225 kills for the death of one and I think that as you can see by the pock mark to ground was just from long range artillery fire long range artillery fire in this day and age um, it, it was woefully inaccurate and it, it didn't amount to a lot of kills it, it was very much a, a morale weapon Yeah, they've dropped below 50% morale. One, two, three, four. Well, less than a thousand. Less than a thousand men. They're tying down a unit more than twice the size just because rate of fire and putting men in, in, uh, in flanking positions. We'll route Manzo Croft back across the river and then we'll get back into our defensive positions and we'll allow them onto us. There's no point pushing this. I want you taking out park supplies. Let's get you away. Full supplies as well. We can do that. We could do with those. Looks like you're gonna get hit. We can push skirmishers out a little bit, get flanking shots into Burbridge as he's trying to pin down Denton or Denison. I like the bigger units. 
I like facing the bigger units that are more resilient, that need a lot more work to uh, to destroy. It makes it makes the game a lot more interesting. If it's a bit of a challenge, I like it. If it's easy, then what's the point? Can we get another volume? We've been seen here. We need to get ourselves away. Okay. And back into relative cover. Didn't want to ask Emisha's cow out. Thought I could lure the cavalry into some decent fire. Still haven't used my claws really. Saving him for a rainy day. I could put him in this stretch of woods here. But what could my claws do that our skirmishers already aren't doing? Not much. Bigger weight of fire, I suppose, but I'm fine with. What's this? Death 27. Manta's been across this river twice now. And we've incurred 27 deaths. So. One would assume that that's working alright. Let's continue trying to take out Park. Be a big morale hit. Okay, attack from the south. Superb. Do you want to move yourself around now? We'll actually push our way out to the very edge. If it's still going to afford us decent cover. Who is this? There's somebody here. Oh, no, here. There we go. I mean, I can see it on the map. But it's just, it's not on the air. Get my, my mini-map skills from uh, from playing World of Tanks. So you've, all, you've always got to have an eye on the little mini-map. Let's get you back into a little bit of cover. Let's push you back into... Side of Landrum. Come on, let's get this done. We might be able to feed these supplies right in the top. <coughs> Although the cannons are very exposed now. I do want to take out Park, however, so we'll continue with that. Oh, wow, really? Push on and try to take parting shots on them. And back you come. So Manta's come back for some more. And our cannons. That's a rear flank. Well, let's spin you just so, so you're not getting rear flank, but you can still get shots on. And let's park hands right behind this line. Price down here, I think. You don't fire until they get across that river. Holy moly. You fall back a little bit. 
into hopefully better cover. Uh, by a few percent. Let's move you back. I get him. Killing it at a rate of 5 to 1. Yeah, that's fairly acceptable. Let's go say hello to. Okay, I've... I think we. Did we take out Price? I don't think we did. It wasn't Price. Um, dead General. I, I don't know. I can't, I can't see dead horses, but you might have already faded from the battlefield. Just trying to probe around. Some skirmishers. Let's get you in these woods. I don't want them to get all the way into the interior. <clears throat> Alright, Ransom, I'm going to need you over here as well. I need you to run. I'll take that flank. And we'll get ourselves away. Let's try to push you around the side. If nothing else, it'll turn Lee, uh, Denison, can get flanking shots and hopefully get him away. Alright, you stopped. Let's open up with you. And long streak. Let's push your arms on. Did good work there. Hans, what did you pick up? 22 kills. It's, the only, it's only the Napoleons, but... Again, it's all about shock damage. Uh, we'll go interrupt. A lot of cannons on the field. Um, yeah, these seem to be the ones that are fairly unprotected. Again, we use Lee Denison. We use the Denison skirmishers just to twist the enemy formation away from uh, Denison seeing it. We'll hit those cannons there. When you're back in your cover, again, back into cover. We took fairly effective uh, cannon fire there, I think. Death 46. Hmm. And stop firing. Some skirmishers into the edge of these woods. Not seen their cav for a while, I think it's over here somewhere. Hopefully that's not a flank. There's a lot of people there. We'll use Long Street to rush out, get shots into the side of McGuinness and try to turn him away just so that we can alter these to face two on two.
I need you to run. This looks fairly safe. It's all done. There are many. There are many. Alright, Denson skirmishers, chill out. And we'll try to get our supplies into the center. <clears throat> into the gooey center of, of whatever this is. Everyone hidden? Everyone's hidden. It looks like we have routed that cav. And it was a cav that was the danger to us. So we'll push our skirmishers out a little bit. Try to be a little bit more aggressive, try and get round behind them. Uh, try and tie down Griffith as much as we can. Got one more volley on McGuinness. Excellent work. Go on Long Street, you've got the CS Richmond's, haven't you? Yep. Well, that was fairly poor. Are you reloaded? You are. Okay. We'll run forward. We'll get shots into the side of Schofield. And then we'll turn away before McGuinness, is it? Yeah, McGuinness uh, gets his shit together. You fire into Foster. You just hold your position. Twenty-four pounders. Mm, that's a little too far away. Oh no, this is just stock. Yeah, you can fire it whoever you want. Right, long straight. Let's see what you can do. Okay, so boy. That's the danger with firing into cannons that are in cover. You don't do that much damage. But still, it was enough. What are you doing with this? Yep, open up on the cannons. Alright, get yourself away. Reform, reset. Let's get you ready. Oh, they've turned to face. They seem to be protecting their cannons, which is novel. Okay, let's get around the back of again. You guys are just paddling in the river. Get on, damn it. Ah, 
a fairly well. 122, 56 to 1. Not bad. Oh. Okay, so into cover before you get hit. Okay, good work. Now move forward to a point where you can engage them. While still retaining some decent cover. It's 64% and they'll have nothing. No, they might have 10%. Cover 50%. Really? Out in the open. Let's push you and you forward. back into some better cover than that. We'll tempt them forward if they uh, they want to engage us. So you're firing on them. Get into Griffiths. You stop firing. Get through the supplies. You into the back of Griffiths. And you across into this cover. You two should be firing on Manza, as should you. As should you. I want you across the river. And we'll get the supplies into the uh, centre as well. Where did that cab end up? No. We'll try for the supplies. Oh, you fire into Manta, you. I was taking out Griffiths. You two as well. You two push forward. We'll try to get Griffiths out of the fight before he ends up deep into cover. In fact, we might have to we might be able to do enough damage to Manta here to get him out of the fight entirely. So let's everyone focus on Manta. Might even be a capture. Not giving them a chance to reset themselves. Which is excellent. <clears throat> and once we've uh, we've mopped this up, we'll use these guys to sweep down this way. I don't mind, I don't mind not having the supplies. I just, I'd, I'd rather, I mean, not having the supplies as in not getting it into the safety, not getting them to places where the, they can be used. As long as I steal the supplies and we put them in a corner somewhere so that the enemy can't get them. Let's get them hidden away. Have you down this line? We'll resupply everyone on the way. 
hopefully. Also, Law's starting to take a massive hammer in here. We'll bring ourselves down. Shore up his morale. Nope. You don't need to continue. be doing enough damage then. You move. Let's get you down here to these 10 pounders. 24 pounders even. Oh, where did you get the supplies away? Let's get you all the way in the corner of that map. I'll oh, hit these cannons. Whew. Down to a thousand. Is he going to set himself before he gets into the woods? No. Right, we need to pull back then. We'll have three cover in these woods. Three on the other side of the river. We'll try to contain him. Still dangerous. Still a thousand men there. I thought we'd be able to squish him before uh, in this little in this little hole. But no, no squishing. So if you and you moving into this cover. We'll have you moving into this area here. Still haven't split skirmishes off from McClaws. We could do it if we wanted to. In fact, my claws. Let's get you over here. I think you're going to be needed over here. Interesting that the enemy haven't reacted to this. Now they have a decent unit of cavalry. It, it took a big hit over here somewhere, but it, it will be knocking around somewhere. Mr. Law is wounded. I'm not surprised. He's taking a hammering. However, we're in the vicinity. We should be able to uh, to keep that morale up. <clears throat> He's essentially the focus point for three units. What? No, yeah, that's flank now. Let's get you spin around just a little bit. And long street. That's you, you again. You two back. Get back into these cannons.
If stack isn't going to turn face turn to face long street, chances are he won't turn and face ransom. And back in. Take a short Scofield. Where are these guys? Turn Lee away. My clothes I could have done with you getting there just a little bit quicker, however. Price. Turn the face at McGuinness. You fire at McGuinness as well. Hopefully. He'll stop in his tracks and we can get McClaws into the side of him as well. Yep, we use NFS as well. Read how the battlefield develops. This was a mass of people and how they just... They came up against laws. Hammered him for ages and they were like no fuck it we'll just go around well done lads nope we need to fire into leap oh actually no uh Denison you get yourself away let's go hit him Manta Yeah, we need to wrap this line up. A lot of pressure up here. How are you getting on? No, we'll have, you, we'll have the skirmishes continuing to hold here. Because they're the only ones that are stopping Hill from receiving small arms fire. Forming this line. There's another big unit here. Yeah, let's turn you around. Right, skirmishes. I need you to go. I need you to go as well. This has only become. Quite an issue for us. Cook, what do we do with you? This way. We might be able to hit stack as he comes into this open. That'd be good. 
All right, let's push in here. And deny stack this cover. Back in that, now you're unloaded. And let's continue to pog these guys. We want them facing this way and uh, not see the massive hole in our line. to cover. We'll take advantage of that. But we have hope and hope. A giant hole here. It's worth it. He will have reloaded by now. Get back in that. Let's have you falling away. So these two, instead of staying on mission, instead of trying to burst through our lines, they're instead worried about 200 people that are in behind them. If you're firing the right people, you are, you are, you are. You're a 24 pounder, you're not, but this is well with a canister range for you. people one more volley into Schofield and then one melee into him <coughs> I need you to go back continue to uh, tie up these guys skirmishers as well. I want them just there. Right, as we move up with Longstreet, they're going to end up rolling these cannons out into the open and that volley will be the one that breaks these, I think. Let's get you away. Skirmishers are heading into position, all six of them. Oh, these, these. Yeah, upwards of a thousand there. And again, um, death by a thousand needle, that kind of thing. Split enough skirmishers off. We can wreck face. Another volley. In fact, hold your fire. And just move. Okay. One last volley, that'll be done. You're heading into this gap, which is why I split my claws out to defend our rear. We'll try and Close the door, as it were. Oh, McGuinness and Ferrero. Try to sweep around the side of them. They're continuing to, to uh, annoy Lee and Burkbridge. Burr? Burbridge? Burbridge. And I have a wrapped up in melee. Good stuff. Go 
I'll reload whilst it's still in the open. There we go. Superb. You've stopped. I thought they were we're gonna head through this gap, but they're not. So let's go. Ooh, I like this. I like the explosions. I've not seen this before. I've not seen the the fire effect. I've seen the, the white smoke. I've not seen the fire fire effect. Which is fairly cool. Continue to route McGuinness, hopefully. Excellent. Next cannon. This lock. I don't think I want to overextend too much here. It's a defensive fight, there's no point in pushing men out into cover to fight them in cover. We push the advantage as much as we could, but there will be a point where Slack, McGuinness and Ferrero get their shit together over here somewhere and it just becomes a slog fest. So let's pull back and allow them to make their own mistakes. Ooh, and it's a fight that we don't have to finish. Even better. Although we have opened up a gap there. I'll be able to get you through. Especially if you'd, we'd put you through this cover. lump of people here go. They will be back and in greater numbers. Okay, you back get yourself off to the point. Where did the other capture supply wagon go? You're about half supply. How's our supply wagon going on? Alright, let's send them initially up north. And then once he's up north, we'll spin him around, bring him back down south. Bring you around there. Not being seen, but I can see cavalry moving towards us. I do like how the enemy seem to <clears throat> they either bring the the artillery or the cannons closer to the front line or they they protect their artillery a lot more. I like it, it makes me happy. Yeah, that drum will be there for much longer. They'll get focused by two people and three sets of 24 pounders. Yep. Not, not long for this world. Alright, I think 
we can shuffle both of you around a little bit. Let's get effective fire on these people from two units instead of just one. Because they seem to, you can see where the bodies are, they seem to have hit here and then shuffled around and around and around. Trying to poke for an advantage. For a gap in the line, even. Okay, get yourself away. You see, they, they protect their cannons. I like it. Alright, the AI is doing what a player would do. Uh, you wouldn't leave your cannons out of the back with the supply just on its own. You, you either move it up to the front line or you protect it in some way. And I, like, I like that. Should be a turn one that. Plus cannons out of fire and I think that mm, that might not be shell range. It might still be ball. Yep. Doesn't seem to be anything new. I don't think there's anything in behind us. If there is, I'll be mightily displeased. Oh, I lied. It was, it was shell fire. Yeah, he didn't like that. And these are just 10 cannons. 10 guns. 10 24 pounders. And this is the kind, this is the kind of work that he's done. Love it. Cannons are crying out for ammunition. That's probably because we stole two of their supply wagons. Ransom, I want you running out into here. Someone's crying out for ammunition there. Let's have you coming back down the line now. Let's have you moving up. If we can keep Benson in the open by denying him getting into this cover. Because <laughs> he's coming up here. I think he was going to attack here, but again, it was going to send into a slog fest of them in cover, us in cover. So, I think running out to meet him is probably the best idea. Just that. Although, he's going to be in a cornfield. be a 2 on one though. Through that little gap there. Can you get that? Oh no. I don't like how if you give Cav orders or you're like, oh no, j just get away. But then you're like, all right, well, I've evaluated my uh, my plan now and I don't want you to just get away in this direction. I want you to go over here and then they'll stop whatever they're doing, think for a minute and then go. And that can 
that can land you in a little bit of trouble. So I'd like them to be, be uh, a lot more fluid. Yeah, they're down to less than 50% morale here. One more hit and they'll be gone. I will pull back. Impressive. Don't want to need a hit from you though, McClaws, you can pull back. Put just to there. I'll have you resupply them. You can go back down here. yourself around into something that's a little bit better I think by a few percent every little helps hopefully we can get enough fire into Lola to push him away fairly quickly just trying to get around the side so I think we'll end up walking down this uh, this wood line Time this finishes. Oh, it, it, it's done. However, let's uh, click on the general. We've lost 7.33% of our troops. I think they'll have lost a lot more. We'll pull you a little further back. Just so that McClaws is the first one to engage, we can then pull Ransom up. That way I'm not having to push McClaws into the open so much. So horses survived. Doing alright actually. So the damage they're doing in terms of interrupting cannons and the like, not bad. Two loads of cannons here. Yeah, fair enough. Nice right, play. Come down it. Actually, no. Supply will just stick to supplying cannons and we'll stick you in the middle of the 24 pounders. Let's have them. I think they're the ones that are doing the most damage on this front. So we might as well keep them supplied. Keep them resupplied. Fire, fire. 
fact go through the cover of the woods. to the cannon. At least we're outside now. Took a little bit of pasting with our horses there, but... In the grand scheme of things. Not doing too bad. It's time to uh, stop using Brook. We're just wasting more men than we're actually killing at this stage. Yeah, yeah, just get yourself in the lines. There we go, nice and safe. <clears throat> Rounds on my claws, must have some good kills. Let's move you out wide. You go back to your unit. I think if 750 route out, I don't know if these 500 are going to be enough to, to make them leave the field. So we'll push them forward just yet. Okay, let's move on. Fire. 
Oh, another charge. I guess all right. You are all firing at the right target, aren't you? Yep. Good stuff. I think even the cannons are charging. Dennis, I know you're gonna. Not bad at all. Shayla, no, you're just a certain volumes. Don't need to supply you. We're concentrating our supply on our 24 Mirandas. They're the ones that are going to do, or that are doing, the most damage. That'll be interesting. Let's have you three in more of a light. I thought they were hitting straight across this river. It's underway. I think we could probably. Yeah, let's put an end to it. says we're not seen. So that's why I've turned off firing. I think as soon as they fired they'll reveal the position. So we'll just sit here undetected. Kind of. So have you three just in there. Spotted? Are you not spotted? I don't know. We'll get Lola squished and we'll chuck all of these up through these woods. And take out this infantry, I think. Not contacted him in the best place. However, wait a fire should route him fairly quickly. Done. Right, large unit. You two. All the way around the back. Have you back through the lines? Uh, I think we'll shift out twenty four. Mm, yeah, 
Shift out 24 pounds. We've got quite good cover here, so if we can just maneuver our cannons in to do the majority of the work. Oops. Understatement of the year. Second, like hammering this uh, this fight just because I, I there's been times when I've ignored him, which is not good. up through that defensive position. Ferrero should, yep, route again. I'll put a little bit of pressure on Foster. Oh, melee again. Just we're not giving them time to to do anything. They're not even getting a volley. Off. Oh no! Right, you fall back and lure that leisure. Yep, lure leisure into the trap of law. Long Street. So they're off odd little shot here because they're below 50% around. So one hit from Ransom would probably route them. One hit from Benjamin should do hell of a lot of damage. This will get down to about 100,000. Uh, I'd say about 1,400 once Benjamin has had his way with them as well. Oh, maybe not. A little bit more resilient than I thought they would be. Zook, let's get you out here. I think now's the time for counter. Okay, 
you fight, and you fight. I found that if you just select, if you're chasing an enemy and you just select everybody and click to attack that unit, they kind of converge into a mess and then they have to sort their lives out and, and yeah. If you, if you do it, if you have them advance like this, then they keep their spacing better and they can open up with a, a full volley both of them. side as and when you can. You've been routed which means that hopefully you'll route beyond your cannons. Or we can take them out of the equation. Random skirmishes, love it. Switch wise, I can if you can. Let's get them to route. Shots in Griffin, you go poke them in the back. Denison is killed, I think. Denison's in the thick of it, isn't he? Yep. Alright, we're going to be needed up here. Should have moved us up there. A lot quicker, actually. Just not doing enough damage. There we go. And push up. Say so Dennis has been in the thick of it. percent yeah hopefully we can get there in time to stop him from routing also hopefully we can get access to their cannons can we maybe not let's move you two up as well seems as though you're not firing means you don't have targets to fire at I 
else and then we get him. Well, your morale's coming up. You're not going to be effective in terms of volley fire, but at least you get rounds down. At least he's getting rounds down and he's holding the line. Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> at half past one in the afternoon, everyone decides just to go home for lunch. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, fair enough. So, uh, something to be said for the etiquette of lunchtime, I suppose. Uh, <clears throat> strength was a lot, a lot better um, in that fight. That actually felt like... That, that felt rewarding. Um... with the numbers that they had, uh, especially with the brigade size that they had. They were brigades of 2,500 and higher. Um, and I have had a few comments saying you can stretch this out to the two, three days, or you can continue and you can you can mop up and you can destroy them and you can... And fair enough, I, I, I did a lot of that in the Union campaign, but when I got to the end of the Union campaign, the very last mission was such an anticlimax because of the lack of of strength the the union brigade in the last mission just didn't have the weight i think they were down to something like six or seven hundred per brigade and so it it was easy for us it wasn't the the final boss fight that you need as a as a finale to a campaign like this but no, they were they were much better numbers, and you could tell uh, we, we were under pressure for long periods of time. We took a lot of losses in comparison to what we're used to. Um, only lost twelve guns. Hopefully, only a couple of those are twenty-four pounders. But yeah, twenty-seven thousand infantry kills to just three thousand two hundred. Yeah, 24 pounders did exceptionally well. Denison, RIP. He, uh, he held this point here for a long time. You could see everything was bunched up ahead of him. Hayes did well, Ransom did well. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yep, yeah, Marvin Denson dead. Oh well. He did well. He did really well. The, uh, the unit should be proud. Uh, we had a, a lot of colonels pop up to Brigadier General. It was intended that way. I, I, I brought, on, brought, along a, brought along a lot of colonels that were just on the, the verge of, uh, of popping up. All the ones that I could. So... We filled out our, our officer ranks a little bit. I could do with a bit more experience. Rescued Harpers Ferry of 1855s, also captured a load of them. Captured a lot of good Springfields. Anything else? Rescued two of our 24 pound howitzers, which is excellent news. I rescued 48 of the... Where's Longstreet? 48 of the 121 CS Richmonds that were dropped. Uh, it's only Longstreet that has the CS Richmonds. Okay. Wow. Was that really like two hours long? Oh, we got a few extra recruits. Uh, in terms of numbers... Um, I think we only just wiped our face there. So like four, four thousand two hundred or so overall. When we lost three thousand two hundred, so about a thousand added to this number. I will grab. What's this? Five cores. This allows us another 
core. I think it's the more cores that you have, the more supplies you can bring to the field. So I'm going to go for that. Even though we'll never use a fifth core. No. Why can't, why can't I create the fifth core then? Our next fight is Chicken Mango. What? Oh, one, two, three, four. I can count, can't I? Organization, max level reach. It did say when you get to this one, you can have five cores. Why are we not allowed five cores? One, two, three. Yeah, don't you don't have to count through them all a few times. I, I can't. Yeah, it, it, there is definitely just for that. I will pick up. I don't know. We might just pick up manpower actually. In terms of rifles, we can pick. We can equip our our troops with. A medley of rifles that we've picked up off the battlefield. Um, the one thing that we're probably low on, even at this point, is manpower. But anyway, I will sort all this out in the uh, well before the next episode, before Chicken Magra. Uh, let's have a, a quick look at what 7,300. Uh, what Chicken Magra brings to the table. What we need in terms of Cause is it? Oh, I remember this. Oh, this was horrific. So we need two big cores. Yeah, I remember this fight. Okay. Yeah, not looking forward to that one. kind of numbers do they have? Oh. 103 to 108. Not bad. Still, that's going to be uh, that's going to be a big fight. It really is. Uh, that's going to be... I'm going to have to eat before I, I fight that one. <laughs> anyway, I've been looking around. As always, you lot have been amazing. Join me next time for more with Ultimate General Civil War. Until then, do take care.